Hello YouTube, Tim here, and I've got something that came in the mail yesterday. This is finally a bow from uh, Joel Watts. He sent it out. Actually, this is the second attempt. The first one, I we can't find. It didn't get delivered here, got delivered somewhere else. We're not exactly sure where. But anyway, this is it. And I haven't unwrapped it yet. All I've done is remove the shipping labels, so I'm really excited to, to take a look at it. Very cool use of the bubble wrap. I've never thought about using something other than cardboard, but it seems like it's a really great way to protect the bow. Good idea. Let's go in and start to snip away some of the, well, the pieces of tape that are holding it together. Just set it nice and shallow so we don't cut through to anything important inside. I think that's good enough for me to get it out. Wow. That's looking pretty amazing. Very interesting. So what Joel did here he made the bow, wrapped it with a nice leather there, and then took another strip of PVC, actually several strips of PVC, as faux horn, maybe reinforcement. Either way, I'm not exactly sure. It's a little different on each side. One has a design that's beautiful, as well as more wrapping, and the PVC strip is in two pieces. See, it's cut here. The other side is completely solid. I'll have to ask Joel exactly what he was thinking, what, what was the reasoning behind using two strips, one strip. But at any rate, the profile of the bow is just spectacular. If you can see it right there. It looks very much like the Magyar bow in terms of its shape, size. Nice faux wood sias. Yeah, that's gorgeous, the whole thing. Very cool job with the wrap. Let's show you, see if we can see the handle area. Here's one of the designs. The other limbs design. That's neat. I've never seen a uh, faux leather with this kind of a texture, but typically I'm shopping at the uh, Joanne Fabric. And I'm just taking whatever I can get. So Joel went ahead and used a very smart technique. I first learned this from Mehmet uh, Gelan, who shipped my bow like this, with a rubber band holding it on. So you'd, you'd knock the, the string on one side, and then you'd use the rubber band to hold it onto the other side. And that works tremendously well. It looks like the string has the tied-on knots. Asian style knots, which is just fantastic. And it looks like paracord loops. Yep, that's 550 paracord if I've ever seen it. String just looks like red dacron, which is great. Oh, what a wonderful technique for making bow strings using the, the loop method is. I'm going to go ahead and string the bow, and we'll just take a look at it. The string loops are just the right size, by the way. Yeah. 
Yo, that is a hefty bow. And here she is. I'm going to maneuver you to make sure you can see it. Now, people have mentioned they don't want me moving the camera around too much. Understandably so. As long as I'm holding the camera here on the tripod, it acts as a stabilizer, though, so it should make it a little bit more pleasant, even without the digital image stabilization that you get on YouTube. Very cool. I will go ahead and uh, show you the shooting now. Let's go outside and we'll take a look at it. This thing is just gorgeous. Quite amazing.